the next condition for change of level is the anointing. Please don't play with this. I have seen men of scale beg for bread. How many of you know what I'm talking about? I have seen people in IT. They say IT is lucrative. But you know, in every lucrative field, you will see people who are there who are still poor. Two of us. In every lucrative field on earth, medicine, there are poor doctors. Eh? Architects, there are poor architects. Eh? Housewife is in degree, so there are millionaire housewives. There is poor housewife. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Okay, you go to ministry. Pastors, there are poor pastors. Amen. Amen. And there are the ones who know what they are doing. Yes, there are big, big pastors. Oh, brother Gabriel, I see the glory of God upon you. As though he was not reading Bible to know before that the glory is on him that he has seen. I see glory on you. Something is changing around you, my God. Oh, yes, yeah, see me after the service. It looks like you have been into that industry. Or you have been a victim of the, of the manipulation. He said, Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, See me after the service. Yeah, he said, The things God showed me. In fact, to dissect them, do you have my account? Now send a robust seed into that account. Then that thing will just fry Satan. Eh? With which way? Games. It amazes me how people fall for games. Stop living by prophecy. No God. No God. Why is your marriage having problem? Because you married by prophecy. You will suffer for it too. You have not started. This one is introduction. <clears throat> In that prayer meeting, stranded people, oh, all of them, poor, 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 poor. I, I, I don't go prayer meeting where poor people are. If I attend prayer meeting, you say you are my prayer partner. First of all, I don't have prayer partner. Then when I pray with you long enough, nothing is moving in your life. I leave you. <laughs> yes, now. Nah. Why will you be praying? Nothing is moving. You say you have prayer partner. Every day, you are the only one bringing your own topics. They are not bringing topics. Don't you know they are witches? Just monitoring what is your concern. You say, hey, hey, pray for me. That husband. Comfort husband for me. You say, okay, you see husband? Let's pray. Let's pray. When you finish, they will go to Kovun. You say, she's looking for husband. No. Block Baba Tunde from coming there. There will be no return. I, no return. Hey, Baba Tunde, you say you are coming back again. Where are you coming? No, 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 no return for you. Are we together? Yes, now, the anointing. Look at this. And Jesus returned. Take note. In the power of what? The spirit into Galilee. And there went out a fame of him. This is how your business will spread. Amen. I thought I would hear a louder amen. amen. Church, open your mouth and shout a resounding amen. amen. This is how your business will spread. This is how your word will know you. This is how your skill will be pronounced. If you believe it, let your amen be the loudest in the building. Lord, watch. Jesus' levels change when he encountered the empowerment of the Holy Spirit. He's the anointing. Look at it. And Jesus returned in power. The moment he contacted power, he became famous. Look at it. It's in your Bible. Let me tell you something. Everybody look at me. I know there are many different people here. Where he said, he said, no, no, no. Once I have skill, skill is good. But can I tell you something? In the world we live, and the Bible calls this word a wicked word. Your skill is not enough. Yes, Solomon, the wisest of his days, say, I have seen men of skill beg for bread. Your skill is good, but it's not enough. Back your skill with the anointing. Yes, you become unbeatable. Let me ask you a question. When somebody is president of a country, have they gone to the apex of position? Why do they still join Freemason? Eh? So, why do they get to the apex and still join something spiritual? Why? Because they know that the world you and I live in is beyond the natural. Yes, sir. What makes the head of an organization go to join a spiritual organization? Why? Because they admit that there is something beyond the natural. You say you don't believe there are devils. You are, you are, you are, you are not looking. No. You don't believe? <laughs> the Bible says, Ought not this daughter of Zion, whom the devil are bound for good 18 years, be set free? Why? She was bent over. Have you not seen people today? You see them, they just wake up one day, they start doing like this. You see the case in the Bible? The Bible says the devil that did it. Skill is not enough. Listen, I've seen skilled men. They are still looking for a job. Nothing is moving. Sometimes you see girls that in your eye, they are not fine. 
Am I correct? You see some ladies in your eye, they are not fine. In your eye, they are not positioned for anything. You will see them marry a very good man. Marry a worthy, peaceful, generous man and be enjoying their life. Then you who is epitome of beauty. <laughs> uh, you who is epitome of beauty. You are still at the bus stop. Oh. Since the ones you say you are better than, they have all married, pass you, wave you. You are still at the bus stop. Till now, these two years, nobody has even asked you, are you single? Two years. And with your epitome of beauty, be parading in pride. When, when this thing deals with you, eh, one day, out of it, you will just settle down. And just ask yourself a question. You say, all oh, this guy I'm making, it's not bringing in anything. Changing with one does not get any man. It's not with one. If you like, cut your scalp. Anything like do. If you like, wait for somebody who just died. Collect their own hair. Rub it. Add it to your own. It will not change anything. Are you getting what I'm saying? There are forces on earth. And whether you like it or yes, you need the anointing to break yokes. You wake up in the morning. Every time, this is your child. 12 midnight. They are crying. Shaking their body. Can you not tell they are having a demonic encounter? Do you think it's, you wake them up, they sleep, they go back, they on it. They wake up, there are they're, they're marks everywhere. Can't you tell something is wrong? Huh? I feel for children in this last hour who their father and mother are not in touch with God. I, it's honestly, this is just, I'm just being honest. I really feel for children who their parents, do you know why? Children do not have faith enough to defend themselves. So children are at the level where the hope of their defense is on their parents. I pity for children who don't have it. Parents who can stand in the gap for them spiritually. That's how your child will wake up. Four year old. Go to school. I'm not going. And when they talk, the voice will change. Can you not tell that it's not the voice of that child? That voice, where did it come from? Where did that voice come from? Can't you see that demons are tormenting this child? And you are helping it because you give them phone. Phone. You are not watching the phone. They just be watching, watching from there. One advert will come out. They will click it. Be seeing ugly images. Then when they go to the dream, the devil uses it as platform to continue his work in their life. You see the children, sharp boy, he now goes to school, doyo. He can't, he says spell, he can't spell again. This boy, you know, he's sharp. All of a sudden, he's dull. Before you know it, bah, you take him to where you people take him. They say, bah, check brain, check brain, check brain, dyslexia, bah, label. Check brain, check brain, ADH syndrome, bah. Hey, check brain, check brain, this one, bah. Before you know it, they have labored your child with everything God says he's not. Because you, the parent, you are not labeling them. Let me tell you, if you don't want to be spiritual, don't give birth to children. You will suffer them for free. We live in a wicked world. You better understand it. He said, I don't believe in supernatural. Go and sit down. Look at Harry Potter. That's proof of supernatural. But that's negative supernatural. It's not joke. Somebody put broom like this. Pia, they go. What are you talking about? You say you don't believe in supernatural. Why? You, how can you be in Europe and be talking like that? Europe has crave for supernatural. Very strong crave for the supernatural. That's why you're a man of God here. Yeah? You must have supernatural. Yes, what are you talking about? You think here we're just here preaching for free? Ah, by now, therefore, don't make me poor. With this, my mouth that is sharp like this. You must have spiritual depth. Yes, if not, the enemy will make mess of you. Is somebody hearing what I'm saying? Yes, Hallelujah. So, you must carry what? The anointing. When you are empowered with the Holy Ghost, that your business will go beyond normal business. Do you know you can use the anointing and call customers? This business I started, nobody knows me now. Father, in the name of Jesus, I decree my customers, wherever you are, all over the ends of this nation, locate me by the anointing. They will start coming in. Who brought you here? He said, I was just passing. That's how they come. Before you know it, business has boomed. Your fame goes to the next level. The anointing is for your empowerment. Subscribe to it. Did you hear what I said? Yes. Subscribe to it. I know you are intelligent. You apply for job long ago. You need the anointing. Anointing is shortcut. Hmm? The Bible says, for the anointing does what breaks the yoke. I pray for somebody under the sound of my voice. Every yoke you have carried until now, by the power of the anointing, I decree that yoke broken in the name of Jesus. Let yoke of stagnation break in the name of Jesus. Let me hear loud amen. amen. Another condition for change of level is what we call dedication. Dedication. Everybody say dedication. dedication. Say dedication. Look at this scripture. He said, it is like a grain of mustard seed, which when it is sown in the earth, is less than all the seeds that be in the earth. But, take note, when it is sown, 
It what? It groweth up. When does it grow? Until it is shown. It will not what? Now let me tell you something. You can't be dedicated and not know. You want change of level in your business, you must be dedicated to your business. There are some of you, your approach to your business, forget prayer. In the next 10 years, nothing has changed. You are doing business. First sale for the month. First sale. First sale of the month. You are selling, uh, let's say, wristwatch. First sale of the month. You have already used it to book holiday. Your first sale of the month. You have book holiday. With capital and with interest. No, tell me what is wisdom inside. Then they ask, you, say, don't do like this. You say, no, no, pastor, I'm a man of faith. When that time comes, I will call it forth. That's why you are stranded. Because faith needs plan to be effective. Is somebody hear what I'm saying? Dedication. When it is sown, it groweth up, and what happens? It becomes greater. So, the more you stay on what you are doing, the better you become. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Dedication. Very important. So, hear this and hear me well. You cannot be dedicated and end up relegated. Do you know why they are thinking of sacking you? You are not one of the dedicated staff. Do you know why people are thinking of laying you off? You are not one of the dedicated staff. Do you know why marriage is not working? You are not dedicated to it. Whatever you give time to, we grow. Let me tell you something. If you are married, hmm, start spending more time with your spouse. Love will grow. It's not, uh, I'm telling you, it's a very simple thing. Start spending more time with your spouse. Love will grow. You will know one another. Two strangers now live together in the name of spouse. But they are strangers. They don't know anything about themselves. Sometimes you are talking with your friends. Ah, my husband lost fried plantain. Meanwhile, the man does not like plantain at all. <laughs> I've talked with a woman. I know the husband. The husband is my friend. I say, how you enjoy your marriage? He say, ah, pastor, ah, I love my husband. Though. I'm just enjoying it. He say, you know, I say, what of the dishes? Ah, he dishes. And she started mentioning what he likes. And I know those are the things the man does not eat. So that's where I knew that this girl was lying. He said, ah, man, my husband loves, he loves draw soup. I say, blood of God, this man, we have known for 17 years that forbid man. I finished with her call. I said, boy, oh boy, you don't like draw soup. He said, which draw soup? Me call, like draw soup for waiting. <laughs> I didn't tell him why I told him. I didn't tell him. I don't want to cause family problem. The wife is busy there. I said, the man loves draw soup. That means she has never made it. Or maybe because she's a fighter, she has made it. The man said, I'm going upstairs to eat it. <laughs> and when they have poured it in the sink. <laughs> Amen. Dedication. You can't be sold out to God and not stand out. Everybody under the sound of my voice, hear this. And those of you watching us from our campus, say, listen. Forget all this. You know, when people come to England, or if you are already born in England, you know, when it comes to God, people say, let me go and sort out my life. Let me tell you, you just spoke the language set and likes. Can I say it again? Let me go and sort out my life. This life that is important to you. Check all the men in the Bible who put attention on their life. Jesus took the life away from them. Go and read your Bible. And the Bible said that Jesus is the same yesterday, today and forever. You see this, your life you love more than God. You will lose it. It's in the Bible. I didn't curse you. How are you going to say the man of God cursed us? Because you are looking for who will curse you to confirm the failure. It's not me. I carry the blessing. If I bless you, you are blessed. Even if I mistakenly curse you, you will be blessed. Amen. Dedication. Be dedicated to God. Let me tell you something. I don't know who you are, but let me tell you something. If the God, this almighty God, he is the only one that gives you what nobody gives you. It's called life. If, he, if your service to him cannot be unique, Satan robbed you. I tell you, Claire, be angry with me, please. Be angry with me. I'm not saying it for favor of man. Be very angry with me. If this God who gave you life, say, let me go and sort out myself. Can I tell you something? The need of man is insatiable. It can never end. You buy Bugatti today, tomorrow you will want Ford Mustang. 
Your need will never, that thing you want to sort out, you will never sort it out till Jesus comes. Mark what I'm telling you. You are playing the game set and likes. And then the day he will now target you, after he had dragged you, drag you, drag you, drag you. Because the man, the man is in the game. You know, you are the one that calls it a foolish man. You are wrong. Jesus said, be as wise as who? He didn't say as the angels. Be wise as who? The guy has wisdom. He, has, he was an ex-employee of heaven. He has worked with God. He understands the system. So that's why the Bible is take, telling you that you don't see beware of the power of Satan. No, he said the devices of the enemy. The man doesn't have power. Jesus has stripped him of it, but he has strategy. Just tell you, just attend church, but don't be involved in any department. At least you are in church. It's easy to come to church. You came to church, it's not an achievement. You came to church, it's not a plus. It's not a plus. Let me shock all of you who are here, whether you are Christians or anything you believe in, that you came to church, it's not a signal you have a bright destiny. Woe unto them who are at ease in Zion. You didn't see it in your Bible when you are making argument to be in church. That's why today, all you have heard about joining a department, once you join here, the thing, you will just feel a coldness in your system not to join any department. You just say, huh, I don't know what's happening, but I just feel peace. I just, I just feel at peace the way I am now. I don't want to serve. Go and check. Muslims don't talk like that. Go and check. The Jews don't talk like that. These two religions I mentioned, they, they are known for dedication. Guess what? In the economic world, they are standing tall. Muslims are dedicated to their cause. You cannot argue. If you live in argument, it's your choice. In finance, they are on top. The wealthiest nation on earth is an Islamic nation, not a Christian nation. You think UK has money? You think the UK money is strong? No, it's number five. There are nations that hold back. Islamic nations. The nations are the Jews. The Jews controlling it. You see them, 2% of them in America, they're the one calling the shot. Go and check their commitment. I love what, a, 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 you know, any Chinese man who believes in Buddha or whatever, anywhere they go, they go with their God. They open Chinese restaurant. How can Chinese restaurant will not be Chinese restaurant if you don't see their God? You now, when you open restaurant now, you can't put the cross. People tell you, say, ah, it's making us comfortable, uncomfortable. You say, really? Oh, I take it up. Sorry, yeah, sorry, yeah. Why does the Chinese man not apologize? God spoke to Solomon. He said, well, I'm telling you, don't marry from this place. He said, I'm not a racist. But as those people are coming, they come with their gods. It wasn't long. A boy lover, a temple builder, began to build temples for idols. Because when those guests came, they knew it's not marriage. Marriage is a platform, but their goal was to promote their God. It's only Christian girls that are ready to lose their faith for boyfriend. The man has not married you. You have already fornicated with him. He has not married you. He just asks you, have you eaten? He said, oh, this man is caring. Next thing, your shirt just open like this. It's this one is, have you eaten? This, have you eaten? He didn't go anywhere let you know. He just said, have you eaten? He said, oh, this man is caring. One button has opened. Be watching me because I want to add a movie now. Where can I take you? <laughs> Be watching you. <laughs> Somebody will help me in this movie now. <laughs> he said, just Google it. Just Google it. Google it. Name any place. <laughs> Man of God, you will help me in this preaching. Oh, yeah. This one nice. Name any place. Bam. No, no, no. Don't finish now. Wait. Now. It's small, small now. It's small, small. It's not complete. If you do it like that, you'll be. So, where did we stop? Name any place. Then, I will pay. Hey! <laughs> Don't complete it too. Just like that. Stop here, stop here. <laughs> What's next level now? So, uh, I'm sending you Uber to pick you. <laughs> oh, now, what now? <laughs> He's going down. Amen? Then, once the Uber arrives, you enter the Uber. He said, wait for me there. Whatever it is, all expense, all expense paid for. He said, are you serious? Are you serious? Are you serious? <laughs> the suit you saw yesterday, you see no more. <laughs> suit is gone, no? 
By the time you now go there, the thing is real. You ate this food. The guy finished. Oh my God. Honey, what's your postcode? <laughs> that one that you start follow up. What's your postcode? When last when last did somebody look after you? Oh, you, you, had, you say you had a broken relationship. I will do you good. You see this CD for me? Our blast is going out too. You see this CD for me? Before you know it, bah! Was the man married to you? What led to it? His long throat. I'm going at, I'm going at, I'm going at, long throat. Go the one that when you go, you will come back safely. Many went out and never came back. The country we are living in. Long throat. What did this man tell you that Jesus did not tell you? That your leg is open like this. What did he tell you? When I teach you, you will argue with me. You will have strength. But when you dream and see masquerade in the dream, you will be begging them. Please. Please. It's masquerade. You are calling uncle. Uncle, please. Uncle, don't kill me. Uncle, please. If I survive this, uncle, please. Masquerade. Then when you don't finish arguing like this, when you see where you see you're speaking against men of God, can we not go out in this church? Are they controlling us? Did you not see prostitutes before you came to the church to go out with? Why are you going out with the ones I discipled? Yes, I'm asking you. Why are you going out with the ones? You didn't see prostitutes? Are they not free outside? Why are you going? When they were having demon possession, why didn't you look for them? Why is it that when I sat down in prayer, were you there when I was praying? Shut up your mouth, my friend. When I talk, I know what I'm talking about. He said, why is he talking? Why would I talk like that? Were you there when we were cleaning them up? Now you feel that they are cleaned up. He said, I want to take you. I said, why is pastor stopping out from taking them out? Is he going to marry them? No, he will not marry them. But I was not raising them for you. We didn't have contract. I'm not your contractor. When I'm discipling them, then you will come from the back and collect them. I'm not your contractor. Did you hear me? I'm working for Jesus. He's my boss and he's the one paying me. Go and ask them in this church, I'm not under payroll. So in case you think you would call the committee and tell them, reduce his salary. I'm not on that payroll in this church. And I don't have plan to go on one. Not anytime soon. Glory to God. Just enjoy myself in the Lord. Hey. Amen. Amen. Everybody say dedication. dedication. Are you blessed today? Yes, sir. Dedication. Now let's round that up. Caution. Half hazard Christianity makes a mockery of your redemption. Did you hear that? Yes, sir. Did you hear that? If you serve God, focus on God and serve him. Next slide, quickly, quickly, quickly. Today you are one place, tomorrow you are this place. Look at that. He said, he say, but if, if he dies, he brings forth more. Watch. If any man serve me, let him follow me. And where I am, what will happen? There shall my servant be. If any man serve me, him will my father honor. You, if you cannot serve God and not be honored by God. Hear this. Serving God dedicatedly is the key to enviable and honorable ministry. Serve God dedicatedly. Sister, in my years of serving God, the day I caught light of kingdom dedication, I have never had need to beg any mortal man. Since the day I caught this light, I've never had any need to beg any mortal man. Since the day I caught the light of kingdom dedication, Matthew 6 33 came to me as a jackpot and I chewed it. He said, Thy spirit came to me and I chewed thy word and I ate it. He came to me as a jackpot and I knew for no reason can I ever be poor in my life. He has not, I've never read the budget of this country. I don't know what the budget is, whether it's last year or this year, and I'm not planning to read. Are you getting what I'm saying? Kingdom dedication. He said, I'm busy. I'm busy. Sometimes somebody has two children. He said, I'm too busy. Somebody has one child. I'm too busy. Somebody has no child. I'm too busy. Somebody has one business. I'm too busy. There are people who have ten businesses who are still serving God. Let me tell you. What God told Elijah, Elijah is humbling. He said, I have 7,000 who have not bowed themselves to Baal. If you think everybody have compromised, look well. God has 7,000 that has not compromised. If you are with me, say here. So if you will not be dedicated, you will never be what? Distinguished. Serve God. Serve God with your talent. Conclusion. Have you been blessed today? Yes, sir. Have you been blessed today? Yes, I see your level changing. Amen. Let me say these few things. 
at, that runs across each of these levels for change. Hear this. Nevertheless, the foundation of God standeth sure, having this seed. The Lord knoweth them that are his, and let everyone that nameth the name of the Lord depart from iniquity. Here, these three things I'll say in conclusion. The provision for the next level is available to all. Talk to me. How many people is it available for? To all. But hear this. Hear this. Everyone has to make their way there. The provision is available. Auntie, you become big. This sister can become big even while you are big. This sister can become big even while two of you are big. Everybody in this church can become big when you are big. Did you read Ecclesiastes chapter 5 verse 19? He said the profit of the earth is for all. All, all, all. So the seven point something billion people on earth can all be big and this world will contain all of us. That's the beautiful thing about the God we serve. The believer mingling in poverty is an anathema. It's not the destination of the believer. Glory to God. So what are we saying? That you have to make your way there. Nobody will push you to the next level. You are the one that will willfully what? Subscribe to what? The next level. Now, lastly, let us deepen our fear for God in order to form a firm foundation for a glorious future. Can I say it again? Let us deepen what? Our fear for God. My brother, my sister, I want to close like this. Deepen your fear for God. Fear God. Fear God. This man who lives up there hmm, that controls your life, have fear for him. He said the foundation of the Lord standeth sure. Check your ways. If they are not pleasing unto God, cry out to him, Lord, deepen my fear for you. Let me be a man and woman that hunger for your presence. Let me be a woman. Let me be a man that crave to please you. Is somebody hearing what I'm saying? Deepen my hunger for you. That is the key to next level. He said because you have hated iniquity and love righteousness. I, the Lord your God, have what? Exalted you above your peers. That means living a life that pleases God at the bottom line assists change of levels. Living a life that pleases him is a, assists what? A change of level. God wants to see your level change. Now we are going to pray one prayer. Everybody is going to say, Lord, deepen my fear for you. That I will fear you. That I will fear you. Bow down your heads and pray. Thank you for listening to this message. Let us know how this message impacted you by emailing us at info.kingsportal at gmail.com. God bless you.